Welcome to Sanders Sensations. Thanks for joining me. I'd like to thank everybody that's hit subscribe. I so appreciate it. Keep them coming. Love the thumbs up, love the comments, and anybody new, thanks for joining. Please hit subscribe. Okay, let's do this. I have got my strainer number five. I did a video with these strainers. It was a five pack. There's a total of four of these that I did I don't know two or three videos back but the fifth one I didn't do anything with because I looked at it and I thought what am I gonna do with this so I'm gonna try and do a spin I've got my lazy Susan under here with my 14 by 14 canvas ready to go with some white acrylic so let's just give this a whirl and see what this little handy tool will do from the Amazon five pack spinner or not spinner sorry strainer pack this one is number five all of my acrylic paints are mixed 50% sergeant mixing medium pearlescent and 50% acrylic paint a little bit of water added for consistency and that's exactly what I'm doing for this pour right here okay I'm gonna give this a quick little torch now I do in my description have a link to Amazon for a number of different tools that you'll see me using as I'm doing my paintings. If you click the link that's in my description and decide to buy something, I will get a tiny commission from Amazon in the form of a gift card to replenish some of my stock. So feel free to shop if you feel like getting yourself some strainers or a butane torch or this wonderful mixing medium that I love so much. Click my link below. All right, I'm just gonna put this in the center. I've got a clear, cut bottom cup with little notches I did where the strainer little notches are I've lined them up as close as I can try and get this pattern happening we shall see okay that looks pretty good I have got my Liquitex turquoise blue I've also got a pouring this is Artist Loft's Ready Mix Pouring Paint, bright blue. I also added my pearlescent mixing medium in this one as well. I've also got cerulean blue and phthalo blue mixed together. I just wanted to have the blue a little bit darker. And then I've got Arteza's Pale Green is also going to be going down. I have black put aside just in case I decide I want to add some black in there, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, first down is going to be my brilliant, or sorry, my bright blue. This is the Artist Loft Ready Mix Pouring Paint with 50% mixing, pearlescent mixing medium in there as well. So there's the first color going down. Then I'm going to put in my turquoise blue from Liquitex. <clears throat> then we're going to go with my cerulean blue and phthalo blue mixture. It's just a little bit darker blue. And my pale green from Arteza. I think I am going to do some black as well. Okay, so let's do that again. My blue, bright blue, then the turquoise. Then the cerulean blue. Then the pale green. Now 
let's add some more black. Which adding that black to that green might even equal a darker green when it comes out. We'll see. Okay, let's finish off these colors. There's not very much left in these cups. So I'm doing the turquoise. Might be a little bit out of sequence of what I did it before, but that's okay. That's the fun of art. I'm going to be giving this a spin that's going to be going everywhere anyways. I'm going to do green next. Pale green. And then the cerulean blue with a little bit of phthalo blue mixed in. Okay. Just grab a napkin here. how this guy's doing here. Blow these colors out. Flip him upside down over there. Pull my cup up. Put that aside. Okay, let me give this a torch. Now the one blue that I did, the Artist Loft pre-mix pouring, I mixed it real good, had lots of bubbles, so I think there's going to be some bubbles I need to get out of here. Yes, there certainly is. Okay, we'll start with that for now. Now we're going to give this a spin. Hopefully nobody gets dizzy. Stay with me, you guys. Hold on. Gonna let it slow down for a second, then I'll stop it right there. Now I'm thinking I'm gonna want to give this a little bit of a tilt first. So I'm gonna go this way just to get the paint a little more even. And then this way a bit. Sorry if you see in the back of the canvas. Okay. Let's put this back on. There we go. Give it another spin. There's a lot of paint on there. And the blues just blended. That might be a, a blooper on my part. We'll see though. Okay. Definitely a lot of blue in there. I'm going to give it another spin just to cover all the corners. And then I'm probably going to add some more color to this. Knowing me, okay, stop already. We're making everybody dizzy. Okay, here we go. It's going to have lots of shimmer from that pearlescent, but that's not doing anything for me. Okay. I am doing a puddle of green. I'm doing a puddle of yellow. And I think I'm going to go with some gold. A little bit of gold in there. Let's see if we can get out of here for gold. Okay, and now I'm going to take my comb and I am going to just swish it through like that and like that and I think I'm going to go do the same right here. And the same right here. Okay, I'm going to give this guy a spin. We'll see if we save this painting or not. Mm. 
<clears throat> That's not really doing anything, is it? Okay. Okay, let's see if we can give this another little spin. Go this way. This is just not doing anything like I wanted it to do. Okay, time to do a tilt. of here. Let's tilt this guy. There's still a lot of paint on here. don't like that gold at all. Is this painting salvageable? As Kathleen would say on Cause Creations, don't give up. I'm not giving up. I've only just begun. Okay. I'm going to take a piece of paper towel and I'm going to spray it like Kathleen on Cause Creations would do. And I'm going to swipe that gold right across here. Turn that around and do another swipe. Okay. Let's get that wet again. I'm going to just do right across. Ooh. And this one as well. Let's see what happens. I'm going to do one right across this corner. Because we really did have some nice paint on there. So this is how we save a painting. I'm going to use the same piece again. Whoops. Okay, let me give it a torch. Okay, now what do I want to do? I think I need a little bit more white to swipe down. Okay, this video is going far longer than I anticipated. I think that's the first time I've ever had to swipe an entire canvas because I did not like what was happening at all. But I like all this right now with the blues, greens, the orange. I didn't even put orange down there, but that's what the gold did. 
Okay. Now, what do I want to do? I think I want to do some white. Hmm. Let's see here. Do I have a tray to put some painting close by? Not really. Let's just do my table then. Okay. I am going to do, we're going to pause the camera for a minute. I'm going to get some supplies. I'm going to come back and finish this masterpiece off. Alrighty. Be right back. Okay, I'm back you guys. I'm going to try and do something with this. So I'm going to grab my white. And I'm going to go straight across the top of this canvas. I'm going to take some paper towel. Really get it wet. And I am going to go straight down. Then I'm going to take this side. I'm going to do the same thing straight down. Give it a quick torch. Okay, then I'm going to take some of my blue and white that I have here on my table and I'm just going to be going straight down and a little bit of a line in a couple of different areas. That had too much green so let's add the blue. Some more blue. Talk about reusing your paints, hey? Okay, let's give it a quick little torch again. That actually looks really cool. The only thing is I want to take a little piece of plastic and just swipe a little bit more of what I just put down. Mixing up the color a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, much happier with that. Okay, my dark green. I'm, you know me and my, uh, you know what, let's do brown first. I have some burnt umber. I'm going to add here and here. With a little bit of black, just a touch. And let's go with a small piece of 
paper towel. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now I'm just going to put some dark green down in a couple areas here. Dark green and let's just go with that for now. I have the bottom of my cup here and I'm just going to in case you didn't notice, I took my canvas off of my Lazy Susan because I couldn't do this on a Lazy Susan. It would just be going everywhere. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm happy with that. Do I have enough green here? Let's see. So I am the perfect example of never give up on your paintings. You never know what you can come up with. Okay, now we need to get some grass, something happening here. Yeah, it's definitely abstract, but I think it looks pretty awesome. So, almost out of my dark green, but that's okay. I don't need very much to do this. I'll put a tiny bit of my lighter green in here. Okay, let me grab my comb. Okay, we're definitely going to be fast forwarding through some of this video, but I'm actually quite happy with what I'm seeing here. It looks pretty awesome. Steal some more paint off of my table just to get a little bit of different colors happening through here. Okay. I'm going to hold this up to the side camera, I think is my best bet. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Whimsical forest with almost looks like a waterfall or mountains behind it. I'm totally happy with this. It was a total blooper from the beginning, but for right now, I will turn it to the front camera too, just in case it's a little bit of a better view. I'll just do that quickly. There we go. All right, everybody. Thanks very much for sticking it out and watching me through my blooper and getting her done. It's gorgeous. All right, thanks everyone. Please hit subscribe, come back and watch another video.